I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you the second version of poker here on my channel. And yeah, I'm very excited for this video since this version in comparison to the first one I've built, which was uh, honestly very popular video. As you can see here, we had like over 2000 views. I recorded this one or I released this one here at the start of November last year. So thanks to all who watched it, thanks to all who liked it. It had like 100 likes, 2000 views. That's a great, <laughs> great, great pace for my videos. So thanks to all of you. And now you maybe ask yourself, why do you still build a version two? So basically version one was very nice. But then Josh Costa came along and he wrote a comment <laughs> at RT's World, poker is played with one deck at a time, man. <laughs> and man, <laughs> You're absolutely correct with that. I'm very sorry. Um, I had a huge flaw in my old machine and let's now fly over to the old one. Um, the old one is over there. So the old one had a major flaw since it was played with three to five decks at a time. And the problem was I was tinkering around with a blackjack machine. And you know in blackjack it's uh, usually in casinos it's the case that they use multiple decks for the same uh, table. And that's to prevent people from counting cards. And as you can see here, here are already two queens hearts in there. And here we have seven hearts double. That shouldn't be the case in poker. In poker, if you have two times a heart queen, people will get suspicious <laughs> and they will get suspicious. Uh, yeah, very fast. So that's why I just selected one deck for this machine now. Like it's in real casinos. It's completely real realistic now. We have only 54 cards. We have one deck and we have the classic four suits the spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And as the first version, we had two to 10, jack, queen, king, and ace. Just rename it uh, like here, just a different um, suits of the cards. And you can find those very nice Unicode symbols on Google, just Google whatever, like um, hearts, spades, and Unicode. Then you can import that into Minecraft. So the new version is a little bit more complex. As you can see here, it's a slightly bigger uh, and also denser. So the circuits are much denser packed in there, but it is also very buildable in survival Minecraft and also on multiplayer and single player servers. But before I show you how to build it, I will go into the first part of this video where I show you how this game works. And we can also explain every circuit or investigate every circuit before we build it block by block together. And once more, many, many thanks to all the frequent commenters and active commenters out there. I really appreciate your support. Without you, I wouldn't make those videos since many of my videos are nice suggestions from the community. So keep commenting, keep suggesting. I'm really looking forward to some crazy and great ideas. And with that said, welcome to the explanatory part of this video. So I will explain all the circuits to you now. And we start with the player selection. We have six lamps and we can just like power them, unpower them, however we like. So now I have player two, four and five selected. And that's also via this yellow uh, lines, we basically translate the lever signal into a piston up or down signal. And yeah, we have here one piston down, so the signal gets transferred or uh, wired through, but these two tr signals are not getting wired through. Whereas here on this side, we have just the opposite. We have two players selected in this uh, combination of three and the middle one is not selected. So that's what we can do. And if I just select all the players, I will show you the difference. It's very fast. Uh, we just extend all the sticky pistons here. So that's why we can wire all the signals into these observers, powering those uh, droppers here. But I think if I start it, it will be much easier to understand. But one thing I have to say before I started, uh, we have here this clock on the top, which powers as soon as we insert one diamond into this item hopper here. As we insert it, we start the whole machine. We move this observer here and we fire this clock and we shuffle these cards here around pretty heavily. So they will get shuffled all around. And at some point the pink circuit will decide, hey, we have now 17 cards to draw. Two times six players, so 12 cards and plus the five cards for the dealer is 17. That's why we draw each time 17 cards from our deck randomly, completely randomly. You cannot predict it, uh, which cards are drawn. So we draw the cards by just depowering this hopper very shortly for two ticks, 17 times. And we distribute all the cards from left to right here with this green circuitry. And here we have just a 
the players one two three the dealer and four five six in this uh basically arrangement as we can see here and we just distribute them from right to left and as we can see here um we have here two cards for the first player two cards for the second two cards for the third five cards for dealer and then again two 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 that's how we distribute the cards and then we have the same number of cards in these droppers down here that's what the screen circuitry does but as soon as we hit the last player which is this one and we power this torch we power the red circuitry we just power all these um, players we selected with the sticky pistons and we just fire those droppers on the t in the front and basically distribute the cards to their corresponding item elevators as you can see here they just get into hoppers and into item elevators so let's do that now enough talking more showing so first of all we have here this uh, randomization system as we can see pretty heavy randomization happening yeah as we can see pretty heavy randomization going on and we have here our cards that gets drawn so eight to draw seven to draw you get the idea now i have to be fast so let's see where we're at. So we have two cards there, three, four, five for the dealer. Here are no cards. So one card for player five, one for player six. And you get the idea. We just power that. And after some time, we just power this torch here. Yeah, we powered it. Now we powered all the repeaters there. It's very fast. I'm very sorry if I show it too slow. But uh, at some point, we just get all the cards into these uh, dropper elevators and up to the player. And yeah, now if we go to the top, we can see we have three cards for dealer and two cards for each of the players. So everything worked out great. So now you may ask if you don't select all the players. So I will just simulate it by just deselecting those two and getting their cards back into the system. So that would look like this. We would have now here two cards in and here two cards in. So, oops. So player has cards, player has no cards. You get the idea? Since the middle piston would not let their signal travel through, that's why this uh, middle observer of the group of three would still have the cards in there. And to, to recycle the cards, we have to basically, if we reset the system here on top with our reset button, we power this gray circuit. If we follow it, we depower all those hoppers here and we transfer all the items from the droppers on top we, all the players we did not select into this hopper line and this hopper line as you can see meets up with the hopper line from the barrel on top that's our reset line we follow it we follow it we get into a dropper elevator we transfer the items down items up and into this hopper line back into our deck and that's how the cards get recycled each each time and if we power the reset circuit we have an additional circuit being powered the pink one it just powers very long this observer clock here that transfers all the 17 items um, back into the original starting dropper. We transfer also our um, X back into the original starting dropper and down here. Can I get there? Yes. And down here with the pink circuit, we also start a clock that transfers all the items, the five uh, from the dealer and so on back into the original dropper. So everything is reset if we press that button. And yeah, now we can do that very quickly. We press it. We can see now these uh, cards getting moved and they just get transferred upwards here with this uh, observer clock and they just fill the system up as we can see here. Yeah, they just get recycled. And as soon as we start the machine again, these cards uh, from, the drop hop from this hopper will get transferred into the deck already. So I think that was now enough explaining. Uh, if you're like not familiar with this machine, I think your brain now smokes. <laughs> yeah, here we just have a bunch of uh, things going on with the orange circuit. It is basically just responsible for pushing two more cards plus one. So that's, that's, that's a plus one circuit. If you would have three in there, it would uh, wire three more cards to the dealer. So yeah, that's basically just to get the dealer its cards. So, um, yeah, I did not recycle the cards here on top now. I will also do that. If anyone downloads the world, they would be very confused otherwise. So, let's do it. Perfect. 
And of course, if you forgot to put the cards back in, you can do that anytime. Just reset it again. We'll just make a lot of noise, but then <laughs> it will be fine again. So with that explained, I will see you in a second in the block by block tutorial where we'll build this complete thing here together block by block. So you can have it in your single player or multiplayer world. So welcome to the block by block tutorial. And I pre-built some stuff here and I started with a 12 by 17 platform. 12 in that direction, 17 in this one. And the 18th block would be this wall here. And yeah, we have here just two, four, five blocks high frame. It is just uh, 17 wide in total. And we have here our center table with the barrels instead of the slabs, as you can see here in the nice version. That's the nice version. Um, we have just the barrels here to make it a little bit easier to follow the cards afterwards so you don't lose them. And as you can see here, we have a note block in the middle. Just don't forget that. And we have here some levers, some lamps, some signs. Yeah, just pause the video at any point if you want to copy this table here. So um, with that done, I will now go beneath. We have here upward facing droppers underneath each of the player and the dealer chairs. And in the middle, we just have an observer watching the note block I told you about, which is this middle center one here. So after that's done, uh, now we have here behind this uh, birch trapdoor, we have a left facing uh, hopper. We're gonna add a right facing hopper as well and directly next to it, I'm gonna add a barrel. So then just a little bit of wool, like so. We're gonna have here a comparator, repeater and redstone torch in the first hopper. We're gonna insert three diamonds, three uh, secret named items and 18. Then it should automatically go down to one. And if we place in any more, it will get transferred here into our barrel, which is great. So next up, I'm gonna build some droppers. Just face them into each other like so. Get yourself some magenta wool a comparator and place a wooden axe into the right one here and the redstone dust right here. Next I'm gonna build here a redstone torch, here another one on top and to the right. Then I'm gonna place right here some redstone dust and we just build the line all the way to here. Then we get a sticky piston and a diamond, oh no it was not diamond block, that's a diamond block and a diamond block just uh, cover everything in redstone. Then we just gonna place right here a dropper facing into another dropper. In the right one, we're just gonna place a wooden X. And here we're gonna place a magenta wool, like so. And then we're gonna place a comparator. Uh, just a small correction, we're gonna place cyan wool here since it's easier to distinguish from the magenta one afterwards. So here we're gonna place in a redstone repeater like so. Then we're gonna have here a block and we need some observers. Uh, the observers are just facing into each other and just power that all the time. But we're not, not gonna place them here yet. We're just gonna place them here. So if we power the machine, it will power this observer clock here. So next up, I'm just gonna use a little bit of redstone dust right here, like so. Uh, this repeater should be at two ticks. And here in between, we're just gonna place here a dropper here, 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 here and here. And beneath the dropper, we're just gonna get some hoppers facing to the right, like so. Next up, we're gonna place in the yellow circuit, which will be here, 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 and here. And we just wanna have now eight blocks here. So one, two, three. The fourth one is already under this uh, wall. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks long. Then we have here our redstone dust like so. 
now we're gonna place in the lines right here oh that was too much and that was too much very sorry for that we of course just need the line right here and here it's very important that we place a ninth block like so and the redstone torch there some repeaters here blocks and some more redstone dust I just forgot it here like so and the middle row we unfortunately have to get rid of uh, since this one is the orange row for the dealer very sorry for that so next up we're gonna add here some torches we can remove the supporting blocks then we can also place in here repeaters so we have for each row one repeater so it's same delay and we just cover this redstone to prevent it from connecting so then we place here three pieces of redstone do some redstone torches here three pieces of redstone like so and some redstone torches and then at the last level we're gonna place redstone repeater redstone and we do the same right here so it's repeater repeater redstone 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 and then we can already place in our sticky pistons with the yellow wool and if we would like just select those four players only those pistons should be extended so that's when you made it correctly to this point so next up we're gonna build the orange line and the orange, orange line will of course start right here and here we just go two three four five one two then we're gonna place in right here a block and here a repeater so that's that space is uh, on purpose and then we're just gonna follow this line we have some repeaters right here and we also gonna have a observer tower that looks like this with a block beneath and just here is some redstone also here is some redstone and make sure to cover all of it nicely that looks like this so next up we're gonna finish this hopper line here so we're just gonna go um we just with blocks now it doesn't matter which blocks they are like one two three four blocks the fourth block will be a barrel and the rest of it is just uh standard hoppers with some composters on top right here i will show you afterwards which it is so our goal is to get here into some droppers and that's exactly beneath it's like we have this gap here and exactly one to the right and beneath this gap we have like one two three four block space and that's where we put diagonally the first uh, dropper then we're gonna place in the middle one this one and two on each side so it's three players dealer three players that's how it works next up we're gonna place in some upwards facing hoppers and some barrels then we're gonna place some sidewards facing some more sidewards facing droppers uh, hoppers into this barrels here and then we can already place a barrel right here and continue a hopper line and we want to continue it right here that we end up at this barrel we already set just place composters all over the place that's how to reduce server lag and that's also exactly where we left this gap so now it should come together very nicely so that's now done and we're gonna increase the spacing here a little bit so we're gonna place our barrel right here and here and we're gonna place in a bit more hoppers composters another hopper and another barrel so should look like this now and then i can already get some green wool let's grab it and also some observers and that's yellow wool just to indicate that we have the selection here 
and now we're just gonna place in seven observers at a row. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're just gonna do that for all. So let's place them very carefully so nothing will be out of sync. And then we're just gonna have here some comparators. Here a block, another block, it's a repeater. Um, then we're gonna have two repeaters. We're gonna have a block, another repeater, another block, a dropper with two items in there. Then we're gonna place in another one right here. Next up, we're gonna place in here a block, here a comparator, here a redstone torch. So it looks like this. And then we're gonna place in a magenta circuit right here with some redstone on top. And now we're gonna stack that six times over. So and after the stacking is done, we can see that we have all the hardware in. But now for the middle row, we need to add a bit more, like five to be precise, that the dealer gets its five cards. So then we can already place in here some repeaters all set to one tick of course and then we're gonna set in one row of yellow wool not for the middle one here we just continue with repeaters and here we again place some repeaters here we place some repeaters here we place a repeater here we place a redstone dust repeater 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 so now it should look like this Perfect. Now we're gonna grab some red wool and connect here everything with red wool. Next we're gonna place here to this torch, right next to it a repeater set to one tick, two, three, four, another repeater set to one tick. Then we're gonna step down a bit like so. Another repeater, piston, sticky one and four tick repeater and here we're gonna place now one two three by two platform here a comparator there one like this another piece of a repeater then we're gonna place a redstone dust a repeater and here we already go into an orange block then a dropper into another dropper. Here we're gonna just place in any old item, doesn't matter, I just get an X as I always do. Let's put it in there. And then we can place here a comparator, here a repeater, then some redstone dust like so. And then we're gonna need a target the target will sit right here and right next to the target we will place a dropper facing into another dropper. Here we're gonna just place two items in, doesn't matter which items they are. Wool. Then we're gonna have sticky piston. If the sticky piston closes we had enough have a short observer clock. So then we're gonna just drop down like this. Repeater, redstone, 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 redstone. Another repeater. Here we're gonna have... Oh, that was not good. I just fired a bunch of things, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and yeah, just do it like this. That should do the trick. There is one more circuit we can already prepare and that's the cyan one. So just add here a repeater and just continue with a redstone torch tower. Torch tower like that. And then we just gonna go with two more repeaters. Here we're gonna have a redstone dust, here we're gonna have a redstone dust and we are already done with this circuitry. Next we're gonna place in a dropper tower and we start 
right here in this corner. That's why I will just remove a bunch of blocks all the way to this barrel here. So that's the corner. So we should get r next to those repeaters. And we should then be able to transfer all our items here. So with that done, let's get the composters ready like this and some observers. So it's just a repeater there. It is a redstone lamp there, a repeater and some redstone. So if we put anything in there, for example, four blocks of red wool. Oh, of course I did not place the observers yet. facing downwards and facing into the other observers. And if we place then some items in there, we can see nicely that they should end up right here in this dropper. So they were elevated very correctly. So then we grab some more hoppers and finish the hopper line like this some composters on top and we can already now excavate a lot of space here so it will be two blocks uh, deep by placing here a row of uh, blue wool and just continuing this hopper line like so here we're just gonna have some repeaters and here we're just gonna have a redstone dust with a uh, redstone dot on top and here just some composters. That's already done. Next we're gonna place 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're gonna go down two blocks like this. And here we place a repeater. Here we're just gonna place a lot of redstone dust. Here a repeater and some more redstone dust. Then we're gonna place in right here a sticky piston with a block attached to it, two more uh, repeaters. And then we're gonna place in, whoops, this was a little bit fast. Uh, then we're gonna stare down here with redstone dust like this. Place here a redstone comparator facing into a redstone repeater. And we can now also switch to pink, I guess, to make it a little bit more visually appealing. Come on, so many misplacements. So four ticks on this one, four ticks on this one. Redstone dust prevented from connecting. Then we're gonna place two more. Um, here we're also gonna place in another redstone dust. And this is now where a dropper facing into another dropper with 17 items at the bottom comes into play. We also need now some green wool since we measure the output or did basically this dropper here inventory and power this piston. So next up we're gonna place in right here a redstone repeater. We can remove those blocks. Um, here we're gonna have, sorry, a sticky piston. Here we're gonna have a two tick system, then a redstone torch, and then a repeater, and then blocks. And it should come together nicely that this hopper here is permanently powered from now on. And now is the time where we can already bring in our four um, chests and I will just get a little bit of uh, space here so we can get them. I will just copy the NVT tag now of these chests so they are completely the chests we can see with the four different suits. So chest, 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 chest. You can see now the different suits are getting transferred. Of course we don't need them anymore and they will get transferred into this dropper. As soon as we start the system they're ready to go. You can replace those chests afterwards with some more um, composters. Now it's time to build the gray circuit. We're gonna start right here with redstone dust and a redstone um, torch. 
then we're gonna have here two comparators two comparators facing in different directions and here we're gonna have a repeater set to four tick repeater set to four tick and here just some normal redstone dust and then for the magenta wool we will have a circuit afterwards going upwards like so also gonna prevent it from connecting and we additionally have here a redstone circuit going down for the gray one like so and we're just gonna connect it and in the end we can replace this torch here with a simple repeater that's yeah just replace the blue color so that's how it should look like last but not least we're gonna add the magenta circuitry and here we just continue with a two tick repeater and some oh my gosh where are my pistons all the time yeah here and the piston two tick pulse into the system um here we're gonna have this kind of construction going on so we now power this block here from here on we go down like this we go down again repeater again some redstone dust here we're gonna add a repeater and then a two by three platform whereas this comparator is facing in that direction this one in this direction just get everything wired up and then build a sticky piston right here and it will house some observers and if they extend they will just um yeah power the whole line here and i think it's a little bit cleaner if we do it like this that's perfect so next up we're gonna go to the top where we continue on with the circuit right here and we just continue it until we reach one block before this dropper here here will be a repeater and here will be a repeater set to full delay some redstone dust like so then then we're gonna place in one two one two comparators and here at this side we have a block and the redstone dust then another block a repeater a sticky piston that if fired that's place dust um has here this dropper reset so that's how it should look like afterwards then we're gonna go here from our starting point one up then we need two pieces of repeaters a piece of redstone dust another piece of redstone dust and then we can just wire our way up like this so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that's fine yeah that's how it looks afterwards and now only the dropper elevators are missing so we now just place beneath each of those droppers we're gonna place one two wool so now beneath each of those uh, droppers on top there is now two spaces of wool and we're just gonna make some columns now so next up we're gonna place in here a redstone lamp here a redstone lamp here a red oh that was not right here redstone lamp here a redstone lamp and already some observers a redstone comparators sorry for the misspelling okay and here we just gonna go to the side like this and for the last part for this one we just wire ourselves into this next up just some plain old observers and some droppers face uh, some observers facing into those original observers
So this block will now be replaced by a normal standard block. Next we're gonna start with the hopper wiring. So we're gonna start in the middle and we're just gonna wire it right to the middle of those uh, droppers here. Then we're gonna wire this one directly into this one and here we're just gonna wire like that with the hoppers. Then we're placing into this one via this uh, hopper, R dropper, and into that one via the last one. So same for this side, but here it's a little bit more convenient. So uh, then we cover everything with composters since they reduce server lag as always. So, unfortunately we have to make some changes. Uh, this comparator here is for the old version. I'm very sorry for that. I thought I had it in my mind and can do it basically without uh, anything. Just replace the comparator here with an observer watching the lamp directly. So just watch the lamp. I know it's hard to get there now, but you get the idea. We don't need this um one here so and here we also gonna place a lamp that one is wrong since we we just made a clock that's not good now we're gonna change this uh dealer hopper line i would say a dropper line i would say so we just gonna replace the dealer with a comparator now that's the only one where we have it then we're gonna place in here a wool and on top the lamp and then we're just gonna have a repeater set to four ticks right here. Then the platform. Here a repeater. Here we have a redstone. Uh, here we have a block and some redstone dust. Then we have an observer watching this redstone dust. And here we're gonna have a redstone line. Now you want to wire all those lamps so we can remove our pillars we made in the first place. So we just want to power those things. And we're gonna do so by these circuits. They look like that. Same on the other side. Lamp, lamp, lamp. And just some redstone dust right here. And then we just connect it right here so some redstone dust and here we have a repeater here we have a repeater here we have some redstone dust and here we just have another repeater perfect unfortunately i forgot something very important uh, we need to place right here some redstone dust and also here some redstone dust so that this torch can power this redstone and here we're gonna remove this block. I think this one was also here. I tried it once more. So just remove the block so that this repeater can power this uh, redstone dust and we finish it up by connecting it to that redstone line. Very sorry for that fix, uh, but it has to be done. Otherwise it will not function. So if you wired it up, uh, also very quick, sorry from my side. Um, if we want the players in the exact number as I have them, we have to rewire just two hopper roads, which is this one here. and this one here. So that will lead us directly here and the hopper and this one will be adjusted so it will lead us to this one. Same goes for this direction. Uh, here I made even worse mistake. I just wired both of them into the same hopper system. That's not how it should work. So we can now wire this most outer one here correctly as we see here. So outer ones, the most outer hopper lines will go to the most outer hoppers, our droppers. So another quick fix, very sorry, quick fix number three. This observer here is misplaced. So place it um, like 
this so they should look into each other not downwards and with that built now we can check out if the machine is working so now we have player one three four and six um, activated let's see if it works first of all uh, we're gonna draw some cards 17 at a time this one here should get lower as it goes this one should get quiet since all the cards will now get transferred in there that's now when we can already replace those chests then we look here as we can see we now power all the lamps one by one we should have two cards two cards two cards five cards two cards two cards and another two cards perfectly so after a small fix uh, with the machine I already told you about that a few minutes ago um, everything looks fine so we have now everything emptied this one not here the dealer cards are still there these ones are still there perfect so let's check it out on the top and as we can see here at the top we now have three cards for dealer two cards for this player no cards two cards two cards no cards two cards so everything worked out perfectly if we now press this not block here we should get uh, the next one basically into this barrel perfect and if we do it again we should get it another one perfect so and now it is time to yeah let's just very quickly empty a bunch of stuff out here and we can now collect all the cards and just put them back and see if the machine resets correctly let's go so 17 cards that's 13 since four are in the system so now we press the reset button so first of all a few cards should get here let's see if they're done yes they are recycled now also the dropper elevator works great so five 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 two 17 cards perfect that's everything done so let's look at this here this pink circuitry so all the 17 pink wool are in there great also reset um, here our starting mechanism is also reset and now let's look here in there two five two two perfect everything is done so with that said um, that was a very very long block by block tutorial i hope you really appreciate the time i take myself uh, to build such videos and block by block tutorial them for you so make sure to subscribe also like and make a comment if you enjoyed the video and made it this far into the video and i will see you in the next video bye bye